Okay, um... Married to Madison, L.A. <clears throat> so, uh... Shanique and Jasmine, they're having th this um, Halloween party. And so, you know, they're looking for certain venues and, you know, they're looking for certain outfits and the whole thing. And, um, none of their outfits was rememberable once we actually get to the Halloween party. None of their outfits was remember rememberable to me except for Imani as um, one of the warriors from Wakanda all day. Um, and... Um, Dr. Kendra and her husband, um, them, uh, being salt and pepper shakers. That was cute. Other than that, oh, and I think Robert, Shanique's husband, he came as, um, the Joker, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> so... Let's see. Uh, Dr. Britton's kids is taking over the house child. A little girl. She hateful. And got an attitude. Um, and the little boy is sleeping in the bed with Dr. Britton and um, her husband. Um, because, you know, the husband, you know, he originally did not want to move to L.A. And he's doing a lot of traveling, going back and forth. From L.A. to Detroit to Florida to whatever. And so it's a lot for him. So when he comes home, he's tired as hell. And then he got to get into the bed with a bedroom full of kids. Now the little girl, they daughter, she's sleeping in her own room mainly. Because she hateful. She don't want to bother nobody. Cute as a button, both of them. But um, yeah, she's over there in her room chilling. And you know, it's the little boy that's very um, attached to Britain, but you know, it's how kids is, child. One day they like it, the next day they don't. One day they all up against daddy, the next day they all up against mommy, and vice versa, and that's just how it is, child. But Britain, you know, I guess she feels bad because she's hardly, um, the husband, I, I, I'm not trying to degrade him or anything, but I don't know his name. Um, I know that be, it's his name, Gus, or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna get his name anyway. But um, her husband, uh, he's mostly with the kids, or it seemed like he's been with the kids the most in terms of, you know, spending time with the kids while she's off at work. So I think that she feels guilty, so that's why she allows the kids to be in the room all the time and stuff. And so, you know, and also this is not really a familiar place for the kids. It's a big adjustment for all of them because they come from Florida. They had this huge house in Florida. They're used to, you know... I guess the house in Florida so this new house in LA you know sometimes you know with kids you don't necessarily feel comfortable sleeping by yourself as of yet hell I know some adults who don't feel comfortable sleeping by themselves yeah for me when I'm out of town um, and you know let's say I'm, I got a hotel room or whatever which I, I really don't go anywhere but every so often I go with a friend and we just you know go and chill out or go somewhere and go out of town Anyway, when we get a hotel room, to be honest, I never really sleep that well. Um, I It's just something about your own bed. You don't get no good night's sleep unless you're at home in your own bed. And when I'm out of town, like, I may get a few hours, but, you know, after that, I'm up. Let's, let's get the day started, you know. So, yeah, I understand that. Let me see. Um... Dr. Imani, she had a scene with a um, guy she was doing an interview about pseudo bubble effect. I'm probably saying that wrong, but whatever. It's the whole mental illness that the, that the Joker had. Um, you know, from the Batman and all that. Um, and she basically, you know, she said she don't know that much about it, but what she do know is that it's something that's not really talk about, talked about. She said it's a real thing. And she said that um, the main thing that she wants people to take away from it is that we need to stop shaming people as a society who has mental issues. It, that's true. But, I mean, as a, as, a, as a society, as a world, we've been trained since birth 
that it's certain things that's not, not cool to be, so it's hidden. Um, having a mental illness is not cool. You get picked on. Um, being bigger, you know, sometimes being darker in certain cases. Um, sometimes being lighter, you know, being too skinny, you know, um, uh, being too loud, you know, being gay, being, you know, being a lesbian. It's just certain things that we're taught that we know. It, you know, if you are those things, you can't help it. But you know that the general, the large majority of the world is not going to find that acceptable because it's what, it's not what's acceptable. You know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, we definitely just need to do better in society. But it's just so much. It's so many layers. It's, it's so many layers to um, everything. So anyway. Um, right after that, Phil got on FaceTime with her and they were talking and Dr. Imani was just basically saying how she's sick of Jasmine and she's sick of Shanique. Um, they're just ridiculous and she tired of apologizing and she tired of Jasmine not accepting her apologies and she's just like, what the fuck and whatever, you know, and I mean, there's nothing more Imani can do. We all know that Jasmine and, um... Jasmine and Shanique is just doing this for a storyline at this point. We all know the T when it comes to them. Like they child. Anyway. Um But Dr. Imani, she seems to be cool. I mean she loves her husband, but she seems to be cool with the fact that he's gone. We all can say at this point that Dr. Imani and her husband Phil probably ain't hitting on nothing. At this point. I think they've secretly agreed to just go their separate ways. And just ain't told nobody yet. That's what I think it is. Really. Um, Because I mean. It it really doesn't make any sense. Um, I mean it is what it is. But. Is is, um, Shanique and Jasmine using this as a storyline. Yes. Um. Was Imani wrong for saying that Jasmine looked like she stayed in a possible drug dealer house, allegedly? Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. Jasmine tried to act like it ruined her life. And what, girl, did nobody know you before episode one of Married to Vance in L.A.? I mean, come on. I mean, your, your circle, your area, they knew who you was. But all around the world, we didn't. Girl, stop. That did not ruin you. Just, my goodness. Imani's a good one because uh, they trying to throw that whole thing on Leah of her being an angry black woman and um, Imani's not taking the bait she's smart enough for that because she knows if she really takes it to Shanique and Jasmine like I'm sure she wants to they're going to look at her like the angry black woman like oh my god she's so aggressive and y'all already know what it gives Y'all already know she's so much taller than Shanique and Jasmine. You know, she's a little darker than Shanique and Jasmine. I mean, we ain't gonna get on that, but we know what it is. And Shanique is the whitest Jamaican I've ever seen. And, and you know, we already know they're gonna sit back and play victim as they don't sit here and start it all this mess. But, 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 I think in this case, maybe, just maybe, that whole, you know, stereotype and colorism thing won't work because I don't think uh, as far as anybody I've seen I don't think too many people is on Jasmine and Shanique's side when it comes to the whole Dr. Imani thing because ultimately just mind your business my god Jasmine you sitting over there with an invisible husband and Shanique you sitting over there with a husband that don't appreciate you so I mean and, and, and then you've been working all day, you know, but, but his job is more important than yours, according to him. And, and you know, you've been working all day, dealing with the kids and your own uh, work that you do. And, and you still got to come home and still be bothered with the kids and still do your work and, and still cook and all that while he's sitting right there looking at you. You all got your own issues. Regardless of, of what Dr. Dr. Phil, regardless of what Phil 
um, Imani's husband and Dr. Imani's going through we done seen her husband we know who he is Jasmine who your nigga is he real or is he not what's going on who signed the contract that let it be okay for you to not to show your husband when everybody else has to show theirs who signed? What, what deals you got with the producers, Jasmine? Let's let's talk about that. Let's get on that. Cause that just doesn't make sense to me. You married to Madison, but ain't nobody seeing the marriage or the Madison. Everybody. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Dr. Kendra, you know, she's having a little postpartum and she is ready to go back to work full time. She's now doing, um, uh, part time. She's working like one day a week, I believe. And shout out to Dr. Kendra because a lot of them are too bougie to do this. Not just them on the show, but, uh, uh I imagine many. Dr. Kendra actually is working at a, um, a, a women's facility, women's clinic in her neighborhood in South Central in the hood in South Central in, in California um, and she says she literally grew up here and her high school is down the street and she's helping women who you know may, maybe can't afford insurance and you know who um, have a hard time finding a doctor and all that kind of stuff because you know we all know how they treat us sometimes how we sometimes treated black people when it comes to the doctors and all that kind of stuff. They don't want to help us. They don't give us the good medicine. They don't, you know, look out for us the way that they would look out for somebody white or somebody with real good benefits and insurance and things. So the fact that Dr. Kendra's doing this is amazing. That's what I say when we got to protect our own, when we got to look out for each other and stop being so ugly and judgmental and hateful and, and, and rude and killing each other and, and all this... It, stuff that we do to each other that they want us to do because how do you get rid of a race you make them turn on themselves period you make them kill each other because we, we we can't kill all of them that, that's going to be something but they can kill each other and then we can just say well you know that's their problem that's on them they have the issues you know even though they was the ones that put the issues for us in place and you know why we got why we got you know we can't afford proper housing we can't afford to get into certain neighborhoods. We can't afford to get, you know, certain cars and all this kind of stuff. Um, but uh, we just so easily, we can get a gun. We can't get a car, but we can get a gun just like that. We can't get our prescriptions that the doctor's rent uh, gave us because they charge $300 for um, uh, uh, the bottle of pills for something we need. We can't afford that and the insurance won't cover it. We can't afford that. But we can afford to uh, pay $300 for some drugs and go buy the liquor store and everything. It's right smack down in our neighborhood. We ain't going to do that. That's a different conversation. This is a different conversation. When I talk about these things, I'm not talking about everybody. I, I don't think that all people are bad. I don't. I have friends of all different races. I love everybody. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm one of the nicest people you ever want to meet. And I'm nice to every single person I run across in life. Um, whether it's reciprocated not all the time but yeah anyway so shout out to Dr. Kendra but she wanted to go back to work her husband don't want her to go back to work just yet um, cause he don't want her to do too much but she's Dr. Kendra that little baby is wearing her out cute baby okay so what else is going on let's see You know, um, earlier in the episode, Shanique, she agreed to, um, she said that she did not want, um, uh, Leah at the party, but, um, everybody could bring a plus one, and we all know that the husband, Phil, Imani's husband, is not here right now, so, um, she decided to bring Leah. 
I mean, we all knew that was going to happen. She's Leah's a part of the cast, and whatever. Um, and honestly, I feel like it's just this thing that Shanique and Jasmine they want Dr. Imani alone so they can grill her and get in her business, and and just uh, it's like they just want to break Imani down or something, and, and that's not cool. That's the, like I said, uh, Imani saying what she said about the house that you stay in, Jasmine. That big ass house by yourself and your young baby. All them rooms. What is the point in standing in a house that big and you're by yourself most of the year? What is the point? I'll be scared to stay in a house that size. I start hearing stuff. I start seeing people walk around that ain't there. I got to go. But uh, it's nice to have all that space until you're by yourself. And you have all that space and all that time to just sit and just think. Shall I Mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. But um, <clears throat> it's like they want to get Dr. Imani by herself so they can come at her. Um, which is so ugly. It's so inappropriate. It's not even that serious. It's not. But like I said, what else are they gonna do for storyline? What else? Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, so you know the ladies they get to the little they have a little hunted trail all the husbands are there obviously except for Phil and I think that's it and obviously Jasmine's husband <laughs> but you know um so you know, they go through this little hunted trail. It's all nice and stuff. All the men go off and have their own little shindig. The men always get along. Then we get to the women. And, um, you know, they started asking Dr. Imani where Phil was. And she was like, child, Phil, where he at? She was like, child, we actually forgot our anniversary. You know, slowly but surely, Imani is giving them information that they are going to use against her later on. So they're talking and uh, Jasmine's eyes got big. I'm just like, how can you forget your own anniversary? Especially they've been together for so long. How does that happen? Blah, 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 blah. Like I said, Dr. Imani and Phil ain't hit no shit. As we can tell. Um, and if y'all want information, she giving y'all some. I mean, but of course it's not enough. So they just started, you know, going back and forth and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Child, Leah brought up the whole thing about Dr. Kendra's party and how Shanique dropped the bomb that Dr. Kendra was making fun of an ugly outfit. Um, that Leah was making fun of an ugly outfit Dr. Kendra had on on Instagram. Said she looked like an Air Force pilot. Ha ha ha. Funny, funny, funny. Okay, whatever. Let's move on. It, it was so childish, really. Uh, but Shanique had to use something, child, to, to bring up. So. She brought that up and Leah was just like child I was just so irritated by that. And then um you know, Leah was just like, but Shanique, stop trying to act like you didn't laugh when I said that. Um and Shanique was just like, Yeah, I did laugh and Shanique and her confessionals that it was not a cute outfit, it was not an ugly outfit, y'all it was not a attractive outfit. Mind you, Leah's a, a, a doctor's wife and Shanique is a doctor's wife as well. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to take away from what y'all do. But y'all are a little less busy than Dr. Kendra. Dr. Kendra's expertise is not based around her looks. Because that would take time away from her patients. That would take time away from her saving lives and helping people and getting babies here. Her job is a little bit more selfless than your job. You got more time because that's your only job, you know, besides raising your kids, which is the hardest job in the world. Your only job other than that, unless you do something else. I know, whatever. Your job, only job other than that is to look pretty for your husband. Is it not? Because, you know, he's a doctor, you know, he got women's running out to him, whether he's attractive or not. 
he got women's running after him trying to be the next doctor's wife so you have to keep yourself up physically Kendra's job is, is, is just as important as your husband's job the doctor so I mean her you know having the outfit on at the airport and she said that was the only thing that would fit at the time she was pregnant and you know it's just it's, it's so childish Ugh. anyway um so she tries to use that but she fell flat on her place and once again she nicked them oh stop yelling stop being you're being so aggressive right now blah 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 y'all know all the words they use um Let me see. So, um, Dr. Kendra, she gets up and tells Leah they need to have a conversation. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I agree. And then, um, Leah and Shanique and Jasmine ended up getting into a little argument. And then it pretty much cut off after that. Um, look. I do like Married to Medicine LA. Um, I'm enjoying the season. Um, we're excited. Well, I'm excited to see what what transpires because obviously, Dr. Imani's storyline is a big storyline in the season. But by God, Shadik and Jasmine, I started off liking y'all, and you know everybody had a clean slate for slate for me. It's it's pretty. As and as cool as I do think they are or can be, Shanique and, and Jasmine. Girl, y'all y'all trying it this season. Y'all are really trying it. But anyway, with that said I Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus, follow me at this Kings on Instagram and Twitter. At this Kings eighty nine on Snapchat, Chisking on Facebook, Mr. Chalaki on Cash App Me PayPal, and as always Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye.